It's so nice outside today. I'm just, can you tell like a bitch is happy to be going outside? Like, oh my God. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday, I just got my braces. Um, color changed and all that stuff. I'm about to head to my mom's. She's having a barbecue for my little brother's birthday. It was two days ago, he turned 15 and also my grandma's birthday was the day before, or two days before. Um, so yeah, they're having a little barbecue. I also invited two of my cousins, so they're on their way there as well. I'm literally about to leave. I just finished filming a video and I was trying to take some pictures in my like outfit for that what I filmed for that video and I just could not get the shots. I literally spent like 20 minutes taking pictures on my phone with my Bluetooth remote. It didn't work. I'm over it. I'm gonna try again tomorrow. I got my video out the way so and I gotta go. So I decided for this weekend is my cheat weekend because I just finished phase one of my meal plan and I went out on Thursday and honestly I did not eat my dinner like I ate it but my body just did not want to eat, eat any more of that ground beef and the rice and all that stuff so as hungry as I was like I was starving my body just would not let me eat so I went out and y'all know those late nights um, you get hungry so we stopped at McDonald's and I ordered <laughs> breakfast I had like an egg McMuffin and that's when I just realized you know what this weekend is gonna be cheat weekend until I start phase two plus also my family's having a barbecue so I might as well just, you know, continue today with uh, eating what I want. And Monday, tomorrow is a fresh start, and I can just, what that exactly. So. <laughs> Today's exciting because one, it's my best friend's birthday, and two, it's the first day that I'm really like going out. Like, and this is not just like running errands, like, it kind of is because I'm getting her gift and stuff, but like, this is the first day since like quarantine that I'm going outside and like going to a store with like a friend in the daytime, you know, like just like regular summer, summer shit, summer vibes. That's how you know I don't leave my house unless it's like mandatory, meaning running errands or groceries because I haven't like gone out with friends in the daytime in so long. I'm linking up with my girl Alexis. I don't think you guys have ever seen her before, but if you guys remember my summer vlog last year, it was for her birthday. I don't remember. Yeah, we went to like Anko or something for her birthday, but she's downstairs picking me up. I haven't seen her in so long. So yeah, we're gonna do some shopping in Yorkville. I'm taking y'all with me, of course. So y'all can see, cause you guys wanna see more of Toronto and just outside and like places to go. This is a really good area. It's like a, it's like a less bougie Rodeo drive, I guess you could say. Y'all will see. Cause I don't really know much about it either. I've only been there like twice and it was to go to restaurants. If you guys remember when I went to that Mark Jacobs um, dinner, whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I honestly changed like three times. I was wearing those plaid pants from Boohoo. If you guys saw my try and haul with the white top. And I was gonna wear my Air Force ones, but then my top was stained with some stuff, so. And then she told me she's wearing slides, so I kind of feel like wearing slides because honestly, I never wear sandals outside. I'm always wearing sneakers. I want my toes to breathe. So I just have this black. Um, this is honestly the same exact outfit I just wore to my mom's house on for the barbecue, but I wore my black and green Air Jordan ones, the pine greens. And then I just have my Gucci bag. I need to get a new bag. I think I might get a new bag today. I have this and I have these, but like I just need like, I need to add something else to my collection because these are kind of getting, you know, played out. Oh, there's like all these stores in the same area. But yeah, this is my outfit. I don't know if I want to get a picture in this because I don't know, I'm just not sure. I wanted to get a picture in this with my pine green sneakers. But I mean, this is a super chill vibe look. Maybe I might. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, it's so nice outside today. I'm just, can you tell like a bitch is happy to be going outside? 
Like, oh my god. Let me put my glasses. I'm so tan today. I love it. Hold on. Let me just like that. Let me fuck with. Hey. Hey. It says that this location was the only oh, one that had it I'm online, sure but yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we'll give you a text as soon as we have somebody available. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I apologize. It's okay. okay good thing you guys got Yeah, thank you. Okay. okay. Good thing we parked and good thing we came now. You have to make an appointment um, to go in because of the whole COVID thing. So we're going to go to another store until they call us to come. Where do you want to go? I don't even know what's around here. Did you already eat? Yeah. Uh, I like that they gave us masks. Yeah, me too. You want to say hi to the No. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I can do it. Uh, take a kind of one though. Oh, it's only the I feel like this is taking off all my ma my makeup. I was gonna say to you, I was like, kind of. Oh, okay. Can you Hmm? Yeah, I'm gonna just, yeah. It's not like they can take it back. I'm gonna wear this. Mm -hmm. oh. We're just looking for the one with the white. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, no, don't worry, don't worry. I'm just letting you have a look at this one for now. Are you guys vlogging? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I just bought my first little glee bag. It's so cute. Is your first glee bag gone? Yeah. Well, I have like two from like my mom. Yeah. But like from like vintage. Though, but not but my first. Oh, so you're gonna make your like account and everything today. Okay. I did. Thank you so much for your help. Of course. So sweet. <laughs> Thank you. So I'll walk you guys out. Okay. okay. Bye. Have a nice day. This is so cute. Thank you, ladies. I was gonna say hope. <laughs> hope? <laughs> Do you think it's like bringing you hope on the YouTube? I don't know why. If I was a stripper, would, what would my stripper name be? Alexis or something like that. Mercedes. Alexa? Mercedes. Diamond. Diamond with your garage. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like diamond. Diamond? A lie. Okay. Alright. Woo! Fire! Chaos. Trying to think. At a man of the hour. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, chef. Yeah, chef. Oh, hey, a little, hey, 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 giving hey. me schoolgirl vibes. Yeah, like, yeah. 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 The last time that I went on a date, like the reason why I didn't work out is because I realized I was forcing myself to like the person. And I didn't actually like them as much as I thought I did. Mm -hmm. I liked the idea of them, mm -hmm. but I wasn't actually was it a like, rebound? like the idea of them. Because <laughs> rebound, so rebound make me do that. Not so much of a rebound, but it was just like a fill the time because I was bored. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. We have, all have one of those. Time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I just wasn't. I wasn't feeling them. Mm -hmm. You know what? Like, Period. This is what it is. Females, I feel like we're all just like niggas ain't shit, niggas ain't shit. Like, I feel like we should do like positive affirmations and absolutely. Not I'm still trying to figure out that I'm dropping because it is a fuck nigga project. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, you guys, I just got home from being on the road. Do you see, I don't think you got, like, looking at it on camera, this looks nothing like what I'm seeing in person. This shit is literally, I don't even know how big that is. That is like a black widow spider or something. Um, I thought it killed them all, but I guess not. And like these past few days, I've just been like looking out on my balcony and I like, I just smile because um, that's not a spider. I don't know. Oh, it's a little like fly in the mesh, but I just look out on my balcony and I just feel like at peace because I'm like, you know, I don't see any spiders. I don't cringe. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my God. I'm going to open the door. This shit is fucking huge, bro. Oh my God. I'm scared to open the door, but I'm going to do it because I really want to show you guys how big this shit is. Do you see that? Bro, bro! Ah! I can't, I can't, I can't! Ew! Too close. <laughs> Can you, like, what if I was outside and that shit just came down? I just came into my apartment. I'm walking into my living room and I see this big thing hanging right here. That is so disgusting and I should have killed it, but I really wanted to show you guys. <laughs> bro, I'm so disgusted. Ew. So that weekend break turned into a whole week break, okay? It is now Saturday. Uh, I'm trying to get my cod fish for this meal prep and I need 40 ounces for four days. It's a two week, I'm just like, it's a lot. <laughs> so I need 80 ounces of cod for eight days. I have everything else. Thank God I only need like two more things and I remembered the measurements. I had to like practice it in my head because my phone's literally about to die. So this is what I have right now. I got my grapes, I got my, all my fruits. We're switching to corn tortillas because this is actually what I'm supposed to be using but I use the flour ones to these because I don't like corn tortilla but I need to like be as accurate as possible. So I can't complain about not seeing that much progress and I'm not doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. That's five pounds? Okay, thank you. a lot of fish bro 18 29 jesus christ this is like a hundred dollars worth of fish damn daniel okay it's a lot of fucking fish i kind of want to get another Ooh, almond coffee creamer look at this <laughs> short problems but plant-based for coffee this is almond i haven't tried this one i've tried not the coconut but the vanilla and the caramel to this one. I'm gonna try this. And now I need yogurt. I don't even know if my grocery store has the Chobani yogurt. I've actually heard a lot about it. I don't even freaking see it here. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna have to go somewhere else. Great. I'm having my lunch now and I cut the zucchini a lot thicker than I did yesterday so it didn't burn as easily. It looks so much more tasty today. Excuse the city girls in the background. I don't know why I just randomly got a headache. But anyways, should I get my tripod? I'm so lazy. Does this work? I'm gonna get my tripod, which I actually need a new one of. Okay, yeah, that looks way better. I had to put y'all on my tripod. I'm so hungry. I'm currently making my uh, dinner. Well, it's actually basically like done. But um, I'm gonna take a picture today because I have not posted on Instagram in a while the last thing i posted on my page was june 1st and it was the justice for black lives matter post i have not posted since my photographer for today for, for today's shoot is on their way so they're gonna help me out i want to take okay my boobs are bothering me yeah i refuse to put on a bra it's just not happening it's not one of those so plus these shirts like this look looks bomb when you're not wearing a bra because it's like you have the little cl subtle cleavage you know but yeah i wanted to switch it up and take pictures somewhere else and you guys obviously know the pandemic is still kind of going on so none of the amenities in my building have opened up as yet I i'm gonna take i don't know i want to take pictures outside i'm just over taking pictures inside and i also took some pictures the other day in my apartment um which I never usually do. Why wow, you guys know I've taken one like on my couch, but I don't know. Like I didn't really like my decor before. I, you guys, I'm so picky and so annoying, and I'm just very like I'm very particular. So at first they didn't come out that great, but now looking back, I found two really good ones. 
I'm gonna post them later this week for my full get ready with me, like a lounge full get ready with me um, that I'm gonna be uploading. Took this with my uh, Bluetooth remote, my tripod, and my phone. This was actually an off guard one too, which is so crazy because if I didn't do that little off, I don't know what the hell I was doing when I got the shot, but um, if I didn't do this and like try to, I was getting so tired, you know when that happened, I was like, you know what, I'm not going to check my phone, I'm just going to sit here and do all these damn fucking poses until I get the shot, or better get the shot, and I did, <laughs> but anyways, I want to show you guys what I got because I had mixed feelings about this. Um, I still don't know if I'm going to include the vlog of me going into the store. I was actually surprised that they let me vlog because I know a lot of designer stores don't let you bring cameras in. So that's actually for the sake of getting content. That is a really good thing. But I don't know if I'm going to, I still don't know if I'm going to use those clips because I don't know. Or people are very funny when it comes to things like this. And I see it a lot with other YouTubers or just influencers in general. Like I see it a lot and... A lot of people are like, sis, what did you get? We want to see if they want me to put it in a vlog or just basically fill y'all in on what I was shopping for or what I was getting. Oh, I need to go check on my zucchini, girl. Look at this. Like, ew. You guys, I literally only have like two designer bags. I don't remember what it's called, but this is. Y'all probably see me with this bag all the time because it goes with everything for the most part um so this is like the first designer bag i bought it's the gucci d hmm dionysis i don't remember but i know y'all have seen this bag everywhere they have different like shapes and uh they have different bags to this print and design and everything but i got this one and you know stupid me Obviously, back then, I didn't want to spend too, too much money on an actual handbag. And I still wanted something that was practical and that I could use a lot. So I got this. But the price that I paid for this, I could have bought an everyday handbag. So this was basically my everyday handbag. And this is not an everyday handbag because it's, look at this. By the time I put a lipstick and a lip gloss in here, it's like this. You're not supposed to do this with your bag. That doesn't, it's not cute. It's not meant to be stretched out. I can't tell you guys how many times I've looked down and my bag is wide open and I don't like that and my camera first of all can't even fit in here my phone can fit in here if I don't have any like lip gloss or anything like, I've actually been online shopping or window shopping for an everyday bag for like months like months and um narrowed it down to you guys probably know the alma bb from Louis Vuitton it's the bag that I got but I got a different color it's the little brown checker bag and it's like round and then flat everybody literally has that bag because it's so freaking cute but yeah i needed an everyday bag that was neutral without any gold hardware because i don't know like i just don't want to wear gold hardware every day so i'm gonna show you guys what i got i'm pretty sure i showed you guys in the vlog again but if in case i didn't i finally got my first louis bag so obviously i'm excited about that i've been saving for one for a while and just been had my eye on it so this is the bag that i got I think she is so freaking cute and what's funny is i used to want big everyday bags and i realized i don't know why i had an obsession with big ass bags you guys know i'm only like five feet i look so weird with big bag. like where am i going <laughs> so oh my god i just love her i wasn't looking for just black because black is very neutral and plain but i did really want something either like croc embossed like with the crocodile print or just something although black i wanted like texture or something and this one as you guys can see it has texture and it also comes with a strap i need stuff like this maybe i wish they were adjustable because my short ass it could be a little bit higher but an actual everyday practical bag and it has a lot of space my camera can fit in it and i'm pretty sure i told you guys that it was my best friend's birthday so the reason i even went into sephora anyways was to get her something for her birthday so i got her the ysl libre fragrance that just smells so good i thanks to you guys i actually got that one because when i was on instagram live i asked you guys what is a good fragrance to get and i got a lot of recommendations for that one a few others as well but that one like i don't know why it just stood out to me 
so I got that one for her I was gonna get the same one for myself but then I remembered that the last time I went into Sephora to look at fragrances because I realized I needed to upgrade and not even upgrade I needed to like start smelling some damn perfume and see what I like so I went through my notes and I started smelling the ones that were on my list and then I smelled this one again and I was like oh bitch this is it I got the 50 milliliters yo this just smells so good this is like definitely a going out freaking perfume i love me a feminine scent with a nice musk i don't even know the description of the scent i don't know but i know that this is so bomb like this smells so good hold on i just smell so freaking good right now if you have this let me know um i got some dms about this as well because i post i just posted it earlier today and a lot of y'all y'all were like yo sis i know this is it like this just smells so good and it really does like oh my god 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 so also when i was in the lv store i passed by the perfumes i've heard some people talk about their perfumes i always forget that they do but he said that he would throw two samples in the bag and to be honest when we left the store alexis was like this nigga said he was gonna throw the samples in the bag and he didn't even but i didn't realize that when i got home he actually did so this is the milf and matière noire so we're gonna open this one first. These are so freaking tiny. Ooh, that's not how you're supposed to do that. So this one is mille feu. I know feu is fire in French. Okay, it definitely smells like a, a smoky, fiery smell. It's okay. It smells like leather and 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 wood. If I'm being honest, I don't know why he didn't give me the Cœur Baton. That's the one I wanted to try. Any female that I have seen post LV fragrances, it's always the Cœur Baton. It's cute. It's whatever. It doesn't smell bad. It's okay. <laughs> this one better smell way better. This is um, Matière. Yo, these are like, they smell spicy. Okay, now that it's settling in. Mil, mil foot actually smells way better. I don't know, this one. It's okay. Okay, they're getting better. But it's just, it's whatever. Okay. So I'm gonna add them. Here, I need to get a new, this actually used to be on my coffee table. But y'all know I got that other black one. So I put this in here, but I mean, my room is chrome. So I want to actually change this to like a chrome, what do you call this? Chrome tray or like a marble and chrome tray. Those are really nice. But anyways, so I'm, I'm my little baby here. I actually kind of wish I got a bigger size because I know I'm about to use it. This actually smells really good, surprisingly. Not surprisingly, but I don't like body sprays because they have like a very alcohol-based, I just... It just reminds me of like the Victoria's Secret body sprays and I, I really don't like those. This is gonna be my outfit for tonight. So yeah, by the way, these pants, y'all, I got them from Zara. When I bought them, they were already a little big, just, I don't know, they were big. But now they're like, oh my god, like they're so big. <laughs> like they're so big. Oh my god. But yeah, anyways, you guys, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna eat my dinner and um, I'm gonna go get these pics in. Say a prayer. Hopefully, it's a lit comeback because it's really been a while since I took some pics. If I don't come back with anything to vlog about um, after I take my pictures, I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Bye. I bought my first hookah. She's cute. Took forever, not forever to put together, but like it's just drama, okay? Like it's drama. <laughs> the tobacco that you smoke is called shisha, whatever. But um, I don't have any tobacco because both me and Kiana bought one from the corner store, the Rabba. And this bitch went inside to buy it and only bought one container. So when we got to my house, we were smoking that one. 
And then when she left, she took the tobacco. So I was like, wait, I don't have no tobacco. I really thought she went inside and bought two. I really wish she just bought two and I would have given her back the money. But now I gotta go on the road and get my own. I just uploaded a video, well not just, like maybe two hours ago. I've been chilling and right now I'm online shopping for a try and haul that I have coming. So I'm excited for that, but I need to go get some shisha or yeah, some shisha. I was gonna say tobacco. I like saying shisha. I'm gonna go get some shisha from the corner store. Luckily, it's literally around the corner from my house. I'm just so lazy, but to be honest, you guys, I have not left my house all day. So honestly, I could use some fresh air. So I'm gonna go. I'm not putting my wig back on. I really don't care. I never leave. I have literally never left my house in a bonnet before, but I guess today's gonna be the first because I'm not putting my wig back on. I'm tired. Low key, this is a look. I just need my lashes done. <laughs> low key, low key, low low key. Okay, this is a this isn't like a chill lounge outfit. Y'all know I love my casual looks. A bitch just needs some lashes, and I'm good. Even with this Meek Mill jail braid up, I have. Okay, period. Anyways, I'll be back. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm back from the store. It's actually windy outside, and my bonnet. Damn near almost blew off. I had to like hold it like this when I was walking from my car. I was gonna get the mango with peach, but then I saw mojito and I noticed with shisha, whenever I go to like, ew, sorry. Whenever I go to shisha lounges, the fruit ones are good, but something about anything that's like more minty, not too, too, I feel like some of the ones that are really sweet, you would think, mm, yummy, cause it's sweet, usually tastes weird and like heavy. And the ones that are like lighter and smoother and more like refreshing, are usually like mint or I don't know. I think I know what I'm talking about. But yeah, so I got mojito because first of all, I love mojitos. And then mojito shisha. <laughs> what? Um, Yeah, you guys. So at this rabbit, this is the one right down the street from my house. Look at the shisha that I just saw at the store. I took a picture because it's so freaking cute. And it's pink. Like, tell me this isn't freaking adorable. I'm so mad that I never saw this one. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I should have bought more coal. Oh my god. Honestly, I totally forgot that I'm running out of coal. I have four pieces of coal left, so I'm gonna use two tonight. I think I can use, I tried using one and it's kind of weak, so I'm gonna use two. I should have went to go get, my, oh my god, I'm just gonna go back tomorrow. So you need your aluminum foil, you need your coal, you need your shisha. And you need your hookah, of course. I already put water in here. Do you see that? Yeah, I put water in there already. I need to make some more ice, so I don't have ice right now. But I do like putting ice in here because if you smoke shisha, then you know when you order the ice pipe and it's cold and icy. It's just so much more smoother and like refreshing. But anyways, it's all good. So on the wrapper, we have different flavors. We got grape, blueberry, apple, orange mint strawberry wow i didn't even read this in the store it's well i didn't have a choice that's why this is the only brand that they have for shisha to smoke but it's non-tobacco molasses it says herbal non-tobacco molasses natural mojito molasses it's natural but like that's actually really good i love that you just open it it's like a little plastic bag oh yeah this ooh. Smells good. It looks gross though. Like it literally looks so nasty. <laughs> it's like wet. It honestly looks like doo-doo in a bag. I'm not even gonna lie. But okay, I hate touching stuff like this. And then oh, I'm gonna have to wash my hands. Oh my god. And then you're just gonna spread it out. Pack the bowl. I heard that you can actually put some marijuana. Mary Jane in this as well. Have you all done that? I've never done that, tried that, but we're gonna cover this. And then, I didn't even realize what this was for on the clamp, it's to poke the hole, so. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh, that mint though, that mint is, is good. You have to like, suck it really really hard <laughs> that sounds so wrong there we go 
Hey, it's a lady like a titty. Hey, I got my own hookah lounge. <laughs> oh. <sighs> my God, you guys. Oh. 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 Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Don't worry why I have a McDonald's cup. <laughs> Anyways, I'm having one of my tacos right now. That is the first time since eating jalapenos on this shred and it's been like three weeks that I was acting like how you guys just saw me. And that was the ending of it. I was it was way worse like two minutes before that or a minute before that because it was just so freaking spicy. But I eat jalapenos every day and they don't burn like that. My mouth was literally on fire. Like it was really bad. Or maybe this jalapeno is just mm! oh my god. Mm -mm. Not even milk, I can't do this. Mm -mm. I don't understand. Uh. I don't understand. I literally eat jalapenos every day and they don't even they're not even spicy. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm just gonna let that I had to let that just like soak on my tongue Wow Yeah I'm taking these jalapenos out Because I don't like that <sighs> I'm sweating I'm hot uh, Yeah no but um, I don't remember what I was trying to say to y'all now. <coughs> mm. Mm -mm. Oh my God, it's so spicy. It's like, it's like it dies down and then the spiciness literally comes back. Like it's getting hotter. I'm, and I'm not eating any more jalapeno, so I'm, I'm genuinely confused. But anyways, I did my hair and makeup today and I'm also going to head on the road shortly um, because I need to get a garment clothing rack. I've been wanting to get one for a while. I actually wanted to have one for my last try and haul that I posted with Boohoo, but I couldn't find one and then I kind of forgot about it because like, you know, I don't know. I, I didn't continue to write it down in my like to-do list for the rest of the week so i forgot forgot about it but i just got another campaign for another try and haul with the same company but a different it's like magic links if you guys know magic links they do like um campaigns with different clothing brands so this is now my third time working with magic links which is really exciting because i actually got my first campaign with them like reached out to me i think march and that's when i brought you guys that boohoo try and haul and then they came back a month later wanting to work with me again or two months later which i just posted like two three weeks ago especially in a time like this with like the pandemic i'm super happy and blessed to like still still be able to make money and although yes i still make money from posting on youtube and stuff like that but um the real money is in the sponsorships so and especially now like there's sponsorships that i did have coming up that i haven't really like they haven't happened yet or they're put on hold because of the whole pandemic and just the whole just everything so i'm super grateful to even have like another opportunity any campaign that i get right now especially in this specific time i'm extra grateful for but um i need a garment rack because i don't know like when i film tran hauls it's really like the lighting is good you guys really really like it however i want a better background like i don't even think i'm gonna film it in my living room this time i'm gonna try to film it in my bedroom i tried to film my last boohoo try and haul in my bedroom and it was just 
it was drama. So I'm either gonna film it in this hallway, which I think might look really good, but depending on the angle of my lens or in my bedroom, I don't know, but I know I need a garment rack because I've been wanting one for a really long time. I also, like I need it for, I need a garment rack for several reasons to film and like for aesthetic purposes because I actually don't have any more hanger space right now. And um, I also like hanging pieces that I'm gonna be posting on my Instagram next. I like organizing them. I started doing that in my closet. So I'm trying to find one that also has a shelf on it because I actually need shoe shelf space. I just need, I need space, okay? Your girl needs space. So I'm gonna find that today. I was looking online at some stores that have it. So Home Depot, <clears throat> Ikea doesn't really have what I want. I don't know, I'm surprised. I really thought everyone got their clothing racks from Ikea, but um, I'm gonna upload this video tomorrow. So if I don't find a clothing rack today, if you're watching this video and you know where I can find one that, it doesn't have to have a shelf, but it's preferred like at the bottom where I can put shoes on it. If you have one or you have seen one or you know where, <laughs> where I can find one, let me know, please, because I need this shit like now. <laughs> like now, my camera's dying, wow. <clears throat> Bro, this jalapeno literally just made me sick. Like I'm, I'm sick now. Like I have the sniffles and my nose is running. Like what? Hmm. I'm just so turned off and I'm starving. So I'm annoyed. Okay. So it's later on in the day, clearly. I didn't end up going on the road to find a garment rack because I forgot that I actually have to run a few more errands tomorrow and I'd rather just do it all at once. Especially because today what? It's not an air. Ooh. Where did these cramps come from? I was fine all day. Oh my god. But yeah, um, I need to go to the post office and buy a garment rack. I also just remember that today is officially like stage two for the pandemic, meaning they opened up a lot more stores and like the malls are open and everything today. So I would have been walking into catastrophe like i know it's probably hella packs and i just don't have patience to deal with that so hopefully tomorrow it's not as bad and i'm gonna try to go as early as possible but i do need to go to the mall uh and those other stores i hope the post office isn't that bad i don't go there that often because luckily my packages come to my building and i have like a concierge and security and all that stuff they keep all their packages thank god because that would just be annoying to always have to go there but um yo my tone i <gasps> wait oh my god that means the nail salon downstairs is open which means i could get a pedicure but do i i'm scared like i'm not scared but i'm just like you know but no like i can't fix this i can't even do this because y'all my whole toenail look at this i'm gonna just show y'all look at this i need a manicure look so I need to get an acrylic um, toenail put on top of this because I don't play that shit. I still need to go to the Raba to get some coal for my shisha. I'm just gonna spend tonight editing a video, watching Netflix and smoking my shisha, my non-tobacco shisha, by the way. Let me just throw that out there. And this stuff I'm gonna save for tomorrow's vlog because like, I feel like now that I can go outside, like we're getting, we're getting clips, we're getting, we're getting content now. I get to go outside, I get to go places, so we gotta, we gotta stretch it out. Okay, we can't just put all this goodness in one video. So, I'm gonna go to the store, get my shisha, then I'm gonna end this video off here, because I will see y'all tomorrow. Actually, my camera's about to die. Why, I, you know what, I think I'm using the wrong battery charger because my battery never dies like this. I fully charge my battery um, today. My battery never dies like this, and I forgot when I bought my backup Canon, the battery charger that it came with, when I took it with me to Mexico, my battery would never charge properly. So that's why they need to give me a new one. Literally, I'm back from the store, and I picked up, I think, like four of the coal rolls at first, and then I noticed that there were only like two left on the shelves. And I didn't know that they were only $1.99. Like, they're so cheap. So, like, $1.99. So, I just told him to give me the last two. So, I, I bought six rolls of coal. So, I'm good for a minute. I'm good. <laughs>